show you how to connect your Spike Prime hub to the uh, iPad using the Spike Prime software or the Spike Prime app. Uh, after that, we're going to look at a very simple program and then you'll move on to a little bit more fancy programming to your first task with Spike Prime. So, on your iPad, you're going to look for the Spike Prime software or the Spike Prime app. If you have not downloaded it yet, that should be the first thing that you do. It takes a few seconds to warm up and then it is ready for you to go. We're going to click start. There you go. You've got three starting parts. We're just going to go with number one today. And on the right hand side, right above my head, it actually um, asks, it, it, uh, it starts to tell you what to do. So I'm going to just move myself out of the way a little bit. Click next. You're going to put your battery in. Your teacher may have already done this for you. Uh, the battery is pretty simple. There's a little bump right here and that uh, goes into a little inserted area here. And so you can't put the battery in the wrong way. It won't allow it. Okay, let's click next. Click to connect to the hub, okay? They call this the Spike Prime Hub. And the first thing it wants you to do is to turn it on by pressing this button here. As soon as it lights up, you can take your finger off and it'll be good to go. There you go. Okay, next thing is you want to turn Bluetooth on on the Spike Prime Hub. You'll do that by pushing a button up here. Once it starts beeping, you're good. And then it's going to ask you to connect to it. There it is. It just showed up. It's called the Lego Hub at At Home Hub. I'll show you later how to change the name so that we don't have 30 kids in the classroom with the same name. There you go. Okay, Hub was successfully connected. That is great. Now it wants you to make a very simple program and it shows you what to do. You go down here where it says events and I'm slinging one over and that basically says when program starts. This language is based on something called Blockly and if you've ever done uh, Scratch, you should be really familiar with it, or a few others. It's very similar to code.org as well. So I'm going to turn on the smiley face when the program starts. And then I'm going to play a beep for 0.2 seconds. All right, pretty simple so far. There's the program. Now down below, it's going to show you where to hit the play button. It is just like a play button on an old school tape recorder. And I'm going to do that again because I wasn't showing you. There's my hub. All right, you might have heard the beep and you might have seen the smiley face. That is all there is to it. We're actually not going to go to the next lesson. We're going to stop right there. What I want you to do is show your teacher when you've done this part and then you're going to be able to go on to the next uh, lesson or to the next thing, which is not a lesson that's inside the software. It's a lesson that your teacher is going to show you.